this over here and I got the hand to kind of fit the hat better. Maybe a little bit of detailing or I might have to do, but I think I'm relatively happy with it. Uh, with the now the hat itself, I did manage to work this in. It works kind of interesting. It works better one way than the other. Now here's still maybe a little more adjustments I could see, but there's still a gap. You know, interesting when I did it. it It looked pretty darn good, and now it looks bad. Well, for heaven's sakes, I'll have to go back to the drawing board. Yeah, was it, it warped or something since I brought it upstairs? There, okay, that's a little better. But anyways, we're in luck because there's one more thing about this hat, and that is, it, if you've seen a lot of the cowboy hats, they've got that little band just a little bit of a band up in there right there and uh, so we're going to use that and then put in where are you right there zoom in a little bit I mean we zoom it in now we're zooming out now we're gonna zoom in okay and so this would be about a quarter of an inch-ish, three-eighths of an inch-ish. All the way around. Now, some of them will have or may have some kind of ornamentation in front. We're going to not do that. You know, like some kind of a, I don't know, some... Um, just like a belt buckle. You can put that in there if you want. I'm not going to do that. You know what? Why not? Well, he's having a little... Nah, nah. You can if you want to. And we need our V tool, which is right here. As we usually do, this is going to be kind of light. Turn it to put a little glove on, take the pencil mark off. Now I also want to add while I'm doing this about getting ideas on what to carve videos to create and it depends on what you guys want uh, you can also look up my Etsy site Etsy e -T -S -Y .com, where I have my finished some of my finished products products that I sell projects that I sell that are completed <clears throat> you look up uh, Scott Carvings Etsy Dot com and then look up Scott Carvings and see. I might do some of them if you ask. I mean, some are, you get to a point where, uh, uh, I don't want to say it's interest me or anything. Is not, I don't know if that's the best way to put it. Or I, I hate to uh, carve things and then let it sit and nobody's interested in it. Now I'm going to cut up a little bit to give the impression that that band is sticking out 
protruding, sort of, sort of a three-dimensionality of it. But anyways, uh, go ahead and point to what, what you like. And uh, I can see if it's if I want to do it or if I have time to do it. Uh, I already have some uh, feedback from a lot of people, so the list is 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 happening. I mean, it's growing too, but it's that let you know that there people are are telling me what they want. Now that's that. Also. If you look up on, um, on my Pinterest site, Pinterest.com, and look for um, uh, Scott Carvings or RM Scott, or my name, Russell Scott, if it'll pop up. I think it's in, in my name instead of Scott Carvings because I got other things associated with that or with carving or writing or whatever I, I'm doing. And I do have some uh, boards there that are uh, holiday related or whatever. Right. So give them a try or or I think I got and then there's another one of blog spot it's called if you ever if you ever uh, it's a blog place that uh, started a long time ago it's one of the old old blogging we can blog for free and it was called let the chips fly if you go let the chips fly blog spot blog spot you search for that there's some of my other older stuff that'd be kind of interesting if you look at some of the older stuff and see if I can update them more. I'd be interested in something like that. Let's see how time has changed. I've done that many times. I've seen some of my old stuff and do another one with what I've learned through the years. I want to do a little more shaping. I don't want to. So it's been too much time. And also same with my rough outs. Which ones, if you want me to carve a rough out, one of my rough outs. And I think I'm going to, for now, I think he's good enough. Like I said, I will be needing to do it. You know, it's just like I was just downstairs. And it was perfect. It was well, not near perfect. I don't know. Well, and see, we kind of can get away with that. Uh, either a little more sanding. I did some sand. I did cheat on sanding. You know, we're wood carvers. We don't sand. You know, we're not supposed to sand. But um, the other thing is probably use a little bit of. Um, wood filler or something. It depends on where this thing sits because it seems like I just fixed it and then it's worse, not better. But like I said, I'm not going to spend too much more time on this, uh, on the video. I will spend more time. I just don't want to waste your time with me putzing with this and this and that and going to get on to completing this this project well it's again it's white breasted nut hatch o'clock but it's a matter of keep playing and adjusting oh before I go I want to do something like this too I wanted to we're not going to go on this. Is widen this a little more, so it's more realistic. But do not crash through the top, though. So it looks like it fits on his head. It looks like it should fit on his head.
Oops. So I'm making my finger on the blade. This is a long blade. And I put my lower finger on the blade and and it shortens the blade when you go like this. But it does kind of your finger ain't gonna like it. Okay, so that's a little more realistic, so So when you when he's holding it like this, see it still looks like there's a hole there. It looks even though it's unless if you want to go ahead and start uh, chopping at the center, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to blacken the inside. Maybe use a a real burnt sienna or or not sienna burnt umber. Or mix that with a little bit of black, so there's still like a, um, you get the impression that there's uh, the hole, but it's still the leather. But if he's standing there, it depends. I might, but all right, let's get back to him. Like I said, everything now that we're we're good here, a little bit of picking here and there, picking and choosing and. What I did was I, I straightened the arm out a little bit and uh, let's use a little bit of the detailing knife here. And you know, oh, where are you? There you are. On that. That's where the belt is. Again, I don't want to clean it, uh, show too much waste too much time with with picking and get the pants in there and the belt in there and digging going on in there and might show a little bit I want to show a little bit of shadow still. Shadow and curvature, like like it's it's real or it's really round. You can see the roundness of it. <sighs> and there's the pants. There's the shirt. Kind of odd doing this at this angle. I was gonna I think I neglected to bring the camera a little closer. You don't want to do too much prying. You can use it to pull it out like that. There's my. There it is. So that's getting a little better. Hopefully the paint will take care of those marks that I made there. That there. Remember what I told you before, do put some nice shadow and let the um, the vest come out. So I like these nice little detailing knives. This is a, a Murphy, no it's a wood, well I don't know, it's like a Murphy, no it's like a Dastra almost, Dastra-ish style knife. And uh, been used and used and used and and uh, sharpened and sharpened until finally it's and I believe this belonged to did somebody own this that's one of the good things about being in clubs is you know when somebody passes on that they would get rid of their their carving tools or the spouse will come by to the clubs and sell them or get rid of them or whatever. I don't want to say that too uh, without feelings because uh, yeah you do develop a lot of friendships and uh, I'm just basically starting to count them off that I knew this guy, and I knew that guy, and I knew that gal, and 
they're gone. You know, the, the, the older gentleman who taught me, I wonder where he is, he went down south. He's, he's not a snowbird, he's, a, he's now a southerner now. I mean, he's a, down in Arizona, you know, that's what they, we do up here in Minnesota and go down for the winter and come back. And I knew one guy who said, I'm not one of those that live in Minnesota and winter down in Arizona. He's, he said, I would live in Arizona and I winter and I summer up in Minnesota. So I don't know if it's the same, but <laughs> and I could get this out better if I had my visor on. That's it's hard to show on a video so you can get the picking. And I do want to show the importance of doing this kind of picking where am I is we do want to show that. See the roundness. And we want to show this because this is the other hand. That's not the this is not the thumb half of the hand. It's curving against the wood. Get in there to show that sh those shadows. That's some of the reasons why they're doing this kind of a picking, is showing shadows. <coughs> Excuse me. And another thing here. Now this thing here, since it's a sleeve, if you can, get some shadow in there. In other, in other words, get some nice undercut going on in there. Just by taking that little piece out, it separates the sleeve of the shirt from the hand almost to the point that this had been cut and glued in there. And that's why if you've seen some people that uh, they got uh, a figure, animal or whatever on a base. And it's all one solid wood, and it looks like it's two, two pieces. They, they managed to get in there. Get in there. And this is where the thumb is. Do a little bit of undercutting here, just a little bit. Take out some of this, and I want to use the knife where that saw was, because the saw is too perfect. But when you use your hand, a knife with your hand, as opposed to like a V-tool also, is that it's imperfect. And that's what you want, is imperfection when it comes to a, a straight line. Now the thumb holding on, the thumb would have to be at least with the fingers or in. I want to create a shadow here between the... And also before we go from the hand, I do want to bring it down a little bit, like there's still a little bit of grasp. Is what was missing here. It's really interesting. You look at it, you look at what you're carving, and it's just something is missing. And your eye can see it, your brain can see it. So we've got to be careful. We've got plenty on the, a little more on the middle finger, rounding it as I bring it down. There we go, a little bit of grasp. 
And with that, we need to make this a little more rounder here. My end. Which is kind of difficult at this angle. Then it gives the impression that there is a bend. All right, giving everything else a little look, his pocket here, like I said, we want to, I think I get his pocket a little more open than a bulge than I wanted, but it does, by creating this undercut does, or unless we can get the impression he's got something in there, he's got something in his pocket, his car keys. Is that separate? What is this? Oh, there I go. It looked like it was separated. Let's get a little more belt in there. All right, there's, yes, there's quite a bit more picking. To do. I just wanted to show you the picking part uh, because it, uh, especially here, like here where we uh, we open the vest quite a bit by doing this nice little undercut, and by doing that, it really opens it up. It almost shows. It almost looks like you got two pieces going on here. All right, I want to get back up to the head. There's two things. We've got the head itself. I want to do, because we've got the, the um, ears. I want to get into the ears. Oops, where are you? Oh, we got the sunlight coming. we got the cat coming and the sunlight coming. Let's come over here. Pencil. Now he's gonna he's got some sideburn going a little bit. There's the earlobe is here. I want to be careful I don't have to make this. And I was debating is it forward or back? And you want to know something? Your choice. I found so many different first of all, I've seen so many different um I'll go straight for the sake of that. Um, whatever you want to go f find, there's so many different, uh, Ethel, get out of there. So many different versions of the ear. So since he has a little bit of a sideburn here, we can tuck the ear in just a little bit, because he's only got a little bit of hair. So we will tuck, let me get my big knife back. Just a little bit here. We're going to tuck just a little bit underneath there. That's going to come here. Shape. And I could see one thing that I did forget to do. table over a little bit more here uh, and while we're doing that I could use a little bit of barrier here that barrier from the Sun I mean we want Sun in general but it does get kind of annoying when there's a spot of sun there, all right.